Hi, this is Dave Murphy from Split, and today we're going to talk about dynamic configuration. You can attach configurations to any of your treatments on the Split's targeting tab to dynamically control components of your features, whether front-end UI-oriented features such as text, fonts, or colors, or back-end services such as number of retries until timeout or pagination limits. These configurations give you the ability to make modifications to your features on the fly, so you can experiment with different variations of a feature with your customers without the need for a code change. Within the targeting tab, you would go to attach configurations to your treatments. In this case, I have three treatments, a high discount value, a low discount value, and no discount. So when applied to the UI, the users who have high will get 25%, and the users who have low will see a 10% discount, and of course, off will see nothing. Now, I can go into my targeting tab change 25% to 35%, and immediately the users who had that particular treatment will see a 35% discount. You can edit configurations for your treatments using two different methods, key value pairs, as shown here, but if you have a more advanced use case with the need for nested objects, you can also use our JSON format. Let's take a look at a very simple example. This is our boxes demo, and in boxes, we have three treatments, uh, premium, standard, and our current version of the feature. If we scroll down here, we can see that we've assigned font size, pop-up message, and discount to these. So right now, everything is set at medium and big discount or standard discount. So when I click on, for example, this one, which is blue, I get a big discount of 20%. Similarly, if I click on red, I'll get a standard discount of 10%. Now I can come in here and change my font to extra large and my discount to large or extra large and the discount let's say we're going to move that up to 30 percent so I'm changing all elements in this case obviously you don't necessarily need to do that if I save my changes we'll see that reflected over here where the fonts on the blue get extra large and when I click on one of them it says extra large discount of 30 percent so that's a very simple example that we can see now it's pretty easy to conceive of dynamic configuration in the front end where you can make a change like I just did to the user interface or to a pricing setting. But it's also useful for back-end configurations. A very interesting use case that we've seen recently is waiting for a search algorithm. The customer had four different criteria for how they would return a user search, and each one of them was weighted differently. They played around with the weightings, setting different values over time to determine which one provided the best results. Dynamic configuration gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility to change the user's experience or the way the system operates without having to go in and change code. For more information, you can visit help.splitio or contact us. Thanks.